Welcome back to another episode of our Minimal Pairs series. We've got a couple of scenarios where the speaker might get in a spot of trouble. So let's go check it out and see how we can improve upon these errors. Let's go. Welcome to Real English with Real Teachers with Harry and Charlie. <laughs> Ah, Chaz, it was my mum's 60th birthday last night. Congratulations to your mum. Wow, 60? That's old. I mean, that's young. Yes, yes, she's 60, yes. Um, what did you do for her? Did you get her something nice? I made her a lovely cake. Chocolate cake. Nice. Was it tasty? Oh, it was gorgeous. It was delicious, scrumptious, luscious. So anyway, I was, uh, I was there till about 10.30 and uh, you know I like to get my head down early. So I made my excuses, um, had a, a little bit more cake and then I left a turd there at her house and then I just walked home. And it was a, a lovely night, a lovely night. You left a shit in your mum's house on her birthday, Harry. In this scene, Charlie was not best impressed with me because according to my story, I had left my mum an unwanted surprise on her birthday. Oh! Harry! Bye, Mum! Of course, I am a lovely son and I would never leave my mum a turd on her birthday. And what I meant to say was that I left her a third of the cake. Now it's quite important to point out that the large majority of Irish people don't actually pronounce the th sound in third. So they would also make the same mistake that I made. But on the whole, as an English learner, it is highly recommendable that you do distinguish these two sounds because it makes you much easier to understand as a speaker. So, listen up for the pronunciation instructions and some other minimal pairs for you to practice. The th sound in third is a dental approximant consonant. <laughs> Which means the sound is made by bringing your tongue close to your teeth. So, put your tongue between your teeth very close to the top row of teeth. And now you need to aspirate air strongly through your tongue and your top teeth. Yeah. Okay, that, that's good, yeah. Maybe I can feel you're pressing quite tightly with your tongue against your teeth, so maybe release it a little bit. That's better. If there is no air smoothly passing through, that means your tongue and teeth are too close. So you should technically be able to breathe while maintaining this mouth shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound like Darth Vader. I am your father. For the t sound in turd, we need to create an obstruent consonant which is one that stops the passage of air through the mouth and then releases. So, place your tongue just behind your top teeth so that it's actually touching them. Now, push air into your mouth so that the tongue blocks the air and then let it go. Good. So this should be a completely unvoiced sound. So if you put your hand on your throat, you shouldn't feel any vibrations. Try it again. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. So what do we do? We give and we take. And what did I leave in my mummy's toilet? <laughs> a turd. A turd. Repeat after us. Third. Third. Turd. Turd. Third. Third. Turd. Turd. Good. 
Good. Some minimal pairs for third and third. What have we got, Harry? Taught and thought. Taught and thought. Very good. It's a think about that. We've also got tie and thigh. Tie and thigh. And finally we have tin and thin. Tin and thin. So you'll never guess what, Harry? What? I went for a job interview um, a week ago and I went to meet with the HR representative. He sat me down um, and then something weird happened. Go on. So I was, I was sitting in the office and then the CEO walks in and he's got a bear in his hands. He had a bear in his hands? Yeah, I was so confused and a bit worried as well because I thought he might throw the bear on me. That's very strange for a sales job. Was it an interview at a zoo or some kind of bear sanctuary? What? Chat, you know my cousin Harriet, the one that many men find attractive? Yeah, what about Harriet? She's got a new pet, and uh, it's a little bit strange. Trust her to get a strange pet. Yeah, what is it? She's she's got a pet beer. <laughs> a, a beer? Yeah, a pet beer. Yeah, she takes it out for walks. She feeds it. She gives it drink. It's very peculiar. Is it a big beer? You know. Big. It's pretty big. <laughs> of course, in these two scenes, we have seen Charlie and I mispronouncing the words bear and beer, which is a very common mistake amongst foreign learners of English. Charlie's potential boss actually walked in the office with the alcoholic beverage beer in his hands, and Harriet got herself a massive furry bear for her cottage in the woods. Now we're going to learn how we can create these two very important vowel sounds in English which allow us to distinguish these two words which foreign learners often find quite tricky. Listen up! For the air sound in bear, release your jaw so that your mouth is nice and open but slightly less open than the a ah sound in the last video. That's it. Keep your tongue relaxed and just behind your bottom teeth and then make a long voiced sound. Air. Eh. Air. Eh. Very, very good. Very good, Jazz. <laughs> now for the ear sound in beer. We need to make a diphthong, which is two sounds combined within the same syllable meaning your mouth will have to change positions. Your mouth will start in the E position, like you are smiling, and end in the U uh position, which is a schwa, where your mouth will be slightly more open and completely relaxed. So let's start with the E sound. E. E. Good. And now onto the U uh sound. Uh. And now combine them, sliding from e to u. Uh. Ear. Ear. Good. Now a bit quicker. Ear. Ear. Good. Again. Ear. What do you have on the side of your face? A beer. No. What allows you to hear? <laughs> An ear. Ear. My ear! And if you cry, what comes out of your eyes? A tear! Very good! Repeat after us. Bear. Beer. Bear. Beer. 
So another minimal pair which contains the same phonemes as this one is fair and fear. Fair and fear. Another minimal pair is tear and tear. Tear and tear. And one last one is share and sheer. Share and sheer. Depending on dialect and styles of speaking, there are common alternative pronunciations for these two sounds. For example, the schwa that forms the second part of the ear diphthong is often not pronounced, especially in connected speech. So for this sentence, a fully articulated pronunciation would sound like this. I shed a tear over the sheer size of my beer. Whereas others with a more contemporary pronunciation would say, I shed a tear over the sheer size of my beer. In regards to the air sound in bear, you may hear people saying this sound as a diphthong, pronouncing a schwa after the air sound. So while Charlie and I say, the unfair bear likes to tear my hair out, others may say, the unfair bear likes to tear my hair out. However, nowadays this pronunciation is considered quite old-fashioned and far less common than the monothong version which Charlie and I have taught today. But it's still good to be aware of these alternative pronunciations and if you want to adopt a more traditional one, then that's perfectly acceptable too. That's all for today, but we hope you found these minimal pairs useful. Do remember to keep practicing them out loud so that you can master them and do give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. But for now, it's your turn to get active and answer these questions in the comment section. Do it so I can see your face. I'll come from here. Yeah, walk from there, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. Now, before we go, we'd like to inform you of our pretty amazing English immersion course that we are proud to offer any students who want an intense and fast way to grow their English speaking confidence and abilities. So, if you are interested in living with us whilst experiencing a gorgeous holiday in the south of England, then click here to check out our website. If you like our teaching style, then head over to Patreon to support us and get more content every single month. And if you enjoyed this video and want more like it, then make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our next uploads. Don't forget to check out all our extra content we offer to English learners in the description box beneath this video. And lastly, give us a cheeky thumbs up. Go on, you know you want to.